Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Gold. Now, to make sure that we have the actual correct save here, I'm gonna go up here. Okay, yeah, the guys aren't here, so we have the correct save. Um, I took, like, a, a small two-day break from recording. I mean, these are only coming out Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so it won't be noticeable at all. But I just kind of needed a day or two to kind of get back on my feet here. I was a little under the weather. Uh, we're going to be taking on the Ice Gym. I don't know what we have that strong here. I'm honest, I'm expecting to lose. 100%. I'm just going to throw that out there as a starting point. 100% expecting to lose, and I think... Oh, okay. Yeah, this place sucks. So, l let's just fight everybody. I, I don't think we'll win the main gym battle, is my thought. Um... Yeah, that's really all I could say. I mean, yeah, look at the Pokemon are over leveled compared to us. We're not looking good. Like, this is not looking like a, a victory from our team. That might kill Heracross. No, it didn't. Okay. That's one thing I was hoping that Heracross would at least be resistant to some of these attacks. Because he's going to be like a stud in this gym. But like I said, other than that, we don't have shit. Um, we have our electric type. Might help. Probably not much. Uh, let's go and battle this person. This gym has a slippery floor. It's fun, isn't it? But hey, we're not playing games here. It's at least, it's better than like the gym we'll see in a future generation where like we have to break the ice underneath us without falling through. That one sucks. So this is at least a step better than that, but not much. I'm not gonna lie. Like, this is... So, uh, I mean, ice types are really good in this game. And our Pokemon are not suited to be ice types. Like, that's just the simple fact. So to that, we're gonna have a, a good old Miller here. Good job here, Cross. Yes. Let's get Falafi. Some EXP out there. Like I said, I don't even... Electric type is probably going to have an advantage, but I don't think it's going to be much. But see, look, he's using Endure so that way he could at least tank it. Oh, and it doesn't even affect them? Oh, shit. Yeah, so he's completely useless. Yeah, that, that sucks. Like, then we are, and we're in terrible shape. Oh, let's use Growl. He's gonna use Endure, so his defense goes up a little bit. But we'll lower his attack. Man, we can't even use... Maybe it's just this Ice type. I'm really hoping that's the case, because otherwise... We're in for a shit show. Oh, fucking frozen. Uh, we're gonna have to switch out, folks. It's, uh, Pharaoh's level 25 as well. Let's try it. He's gonna be super weak too, though. Like, that's the deal, is like, we're just royally screwed with all of our Pokemon. Let's use Peck. That should be enough to kill him, but it, we're not going to get far. Okay, let, let's go and heal. I, we could probably beat... Like I said, I really wish we had like time to train. But because this episode, I believe, will be coming out on a Friday, we really don't. You know? Like, we're, we're trying to stick to Monday, Wednesday, Friday, story, story, story. One trainer episode per week on the weekend. That's been the objective since the start. We've stuck at, sucked at sticking to it. Mouthful there. But let's just try to get through this shit show. Um, we didn't beat this person. We might as well get through all of them. Like, we're going to inevitably run into them anyways. So we might as well just get it out of the way. You know, it's going to suck. Dewong. 
the good old Dong Di Wong. Let's use a bug type. Let's see how that works. Oh, we fucking missed. I don't think bug types are going to be really effective here. Yeah. Not much. Whereas at least our horn attack will do more damage than that, hopefully. I mean, still not much. Holy shit. Oh, and it's going to heal up you fucking swimming piece of shit. Now we know what works, I guess. Let's try, um... Let's try Fury Attack here. Might be a little bit more effective. At least we'll get multiple hits in, too. Kinda wish we stuck with Horn Attack there. It's fast asleep, though. So it's not getting any effective attacks off on us. It woke up. It used Aurora Beam. Of course it did. Probably like the only thing that will kill us, definitely. Well, it's not that effective against Heracross. I keep forgetting that, that like, Heracross isn't super strong, but his defense, he's a stud. Um, like I said, this episode's gonna be a ton of fun because we're gonna have to keep leaving, healing, and returning. But if we could at least get a gym badge out of this, hey, I'll give a cheers to that, am I right? Give a little tap on the mic here. There we go. I don't want to give too much more than that. Knock my mic off the stand and shit. <sighs> okay, let's go back into the gym. Okay. I'll freeze your Pokemon so you can't do a thing. That's always, um... It's always the sign of a strong trainer. When he's like, oh, I'll freeze him. So that way you can't do shit. No, it's really what you look for in the best types of trainers. It's, use Horn Attack, I mean, it's probably the most effective move we have right now. Headbutt. Fair. See, I think, like, the... The actual AI in the back end is telling it that, like, hey, those moves aren't gonna be that effective against Heracross. Let's use Headbutt. Next, we're gonna try Falafi. Let's just see if, um... If he could affect Seal. I know he couldn't affect that one Pokemon. I don't know if it's all Ice types in general. I doubt it. Yeah. Okay. That it that gives me a little bit more hope moving forward. You know, because otherwise this gym was about to become a shit show. We really don't want that right now. Like we want we want the opposite of that. <laughs> like I said, we're already at the disadvantage here. Let's not change. Let's just see how much Dewong can do to us here. Now that we've leveled up a level. You know? Hopefully not that much. Because as long as we could get two attacks out, I'm confident we could kill a lot of stuff. In this instance, it looks like we're going to need three, which might screw us. We might end up dying here. But, you know, we do have the advantage of being able to leave, heal, come back. That's probably going to kill us. I'd put money on it. I would have lost my money. You should have... Anytime I say I'm going to put money on it, bet against average Joe. Like, if he says he's going to win, bet that he's going to lose. Because I've been wrong. Like, I think I'm like 1 for 20 in this series. If we were to break down the stats. It's really bad. Come to our Pokemon Center. Yeah, da, 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 da. Yes, heal my Pokemon. Ah. They're fully healed. Guess we're ready to go back in. Okay, we battled this person. Battled that person. Fuck. Okay, we battled them. Let's go up, we have to battle them, then just, yeah, it's, it shouldn't be that hard to get to him. That's why I want to, I want to take out everybody because we're going to run into them anyways, is kind of my thought here. 
So it's like, hey, if we're gonna run into him anyways, might as well get it out of the way. Let's see what Rock Smash does. Probably not a whole lot. Nope. It does lower the defenses. But he just raised his defenses, so... Not gonna be doing much anyways. I mean, fortunately, the horn attack does look pretty effective against Shelter. Full 27 for Heracross. Good job, buddy. Counter. I don't know what counter does. Um, let me search it up really quick, because it sounds like it could either be like a really good move or a shit move. I'm searching it up. I'm trying not to annoy you. Okay, counter is a physical move. Um, shit, I'm, I'm trying to figure out here. Should I forget an attack to learn counter? I want to know, like, the actual stats. Okay, it's physical. Its power is unknown. Deals damage to the opposing Pokemon equal to twice the HP lost by the user from a physical attack this turn. This move considers hidden powers as a normal type. No, we're, we're not learning this. I'm going to put it on Fury Cutter. Or Fury Attack, just in case. Oh, fuck, I clicked the wrong button. I guess we fucking no counter. No. Let's see what it does. Probably shit. Just from my understanding, it looks like it does nothing. Yeah, like if he doesn't attack us. Like even here, because this isn't a normal attack. I don't think it's going to... Do anything. Yeah. That was such a waste. I can't even begin to express how pissed off I am in myself. I can't- I, I even said, just click the other button. And then, boop, click the button to learn it. <sighs> Heracross, you know one shitty move, man. Cloyster. Yes. Let's use Falafi. These two Pokemon are going to be like our, our go-tos to get through this fucking battle. So if they can't learn enough to get out of it, we're screwed. Like, pretty much. Super effective. That's going to do a good chunk of damage here. Yeah. Cloyster is an extremely effective Pokemon. Um, I think there should be a tier list out for Generation 1 Pokemon by the time that this comes out. And you'll see. Cloyster's, Cloyster's up there. Cotton Spore. No. Yes. We're, we're stopping that shit this time. We're not learning shit. He said he'll tell me a secret. Okay. He meditates daily under a waterfall. Um, hold on. How can we approach this in a way where we'll land where we need to land? We have to do, like, one of these maneuvers. Hold on. That puts us up in the corner. We don't want that for sure. I'm trying to figure out, like, how to approach him. We need to get stuck behind that person in the blue. Right? That's the only way we're gonna get there. Let's figure this out before we even progress. Huh. Ha ha ha. See, this seems logical. 
Then it seems like we should be going... Um... Like, almost like this way, this way. This way. Right? Because now we're here, we just need to move one over to the right. Or we need to get on the same line as that guy. Okay, let's go heal quick. Because I think we battled everybody. And I don't want to get there and forget how we fucking got there. You know? That'll be the highlight of this episode. Figuring out this damn gym. It honestly might be the only thing in this episode. Because we need a training day. And we need a big one. Like two and a half hour training day. My goal would be to get everybody to like 32 at this point. Like it's... We need a jump. Hold on a second here. We need to get behind that person. There's nothing to stop us back there though. Unless we get caught between them and the wall. Here. Here. That puts us right here. If we go here, here, here. We're just skating around the guy. It's almost like we need to hit him. What if we go down this way? Something we haven't tried yet. I think it, it's gonna be like one of those. We're, we're gonna be stuck on ice. Like how we found this guy. Like it's gonna be ice to ice. Let's try and go up this side. We haven't done that this much and I feel like that's gonna be one of the keys to getting where we need to go. Okay, something needs to happen there. Cause that definitely seems like the right path. I'm just not sure how to approach it. You know, th this seems right. Like, we go here. And we only really have four directional places we could go. We go back to here. We go down, which leads us to a square. Which isn't going to be helpful. Go up. Which leads us here. There's no platform that should catch us, so that's going to drop us back down to there. This is probably so annoying to watch if you already know what to do. Oh. We just have to land on this square, right? So how do we get to land on that square? Like that one right there above the Pokeball. This one. Right here. The direction I'm looking in. We need something to land us there. It's not going to be up here. Oh, uh, I, I think I got it. I think I got it. If we go over here, come down here. No, fuck. I was going to say, what if we go down, but then we're here. Is there a way to land on that square over there? There's gotta be. Like, to land on that square to the right of him. The, the direction that that blue-haired guy is looking. That's the piece of the puzzle we're really missing right now. There's like nothing. I probably look like a total jackass because there's probably like a really simple solution to this that I'm just entirely missing. Fuck. Like it's gonna be one of those stupid things like I said like right here seems like a perfect... But 
but it's not. It's it's missing one thing. Like something that stops us on that line, either up the top, which there's nothing there to stop us. And there's no way we would be coming that way. If we go down this way, up. We figured it out, folks. Ah, oh, thank God. Now we're about to lose. We're about to lose to the winter trainer, Price. Let's see how tough he is. Um, he looks like an elder dick. A seal. Okay, we're comfortable with seal. We battled a few seals. We know what we should do to wipe them out. But you see, they always know, like, these OP moves. Luckily for us, that's not strong against Heracross. Headbutt's not going to be that strong either. It's, it's going to do more damage, but not much. We're going to leave Heracross in there till he dies. That's my plan. That shouldn't have been my plan, because he probably has an evolved version of that shit that we didn't know how to deal with. Okay. Roar Beam's gonna knock us back a little. But we won't be able to attack that last thing. That's my fear. Is we won't even be able to get an attack off. Uh, if we have a potion, I'm gonna be prompted to use it here. Because like I said, I'm expecting... Let's use our Hyper Potion. I'm expecting that he's gonna have that the evolved version of that snow Pokemon we saw earlier that Thunder can't attack. Which is really gonna dick us over. So we wanna be prepared for that shit coming down the pipeline. So I feel like it is. I really don't feel like losing another fucking battle today. Yeah, there it is. Just as I thought. I could just tell by the name that's what it is. It's like, hey, you wanna fight annoying shit? Here he comes. What do you know that? He, he knows the move that we accidentally fucking removed. We just need to keep pounding him and hope for the best. As long as he doesn't freeze us, he froze us for sure. He killed us. Um, let's see what Pharaoh can do. Probably not much. And he'll probably kill him really easily. But this will at least buy us some time. To kind of like think of a path forward, you know? It bought us one turn. That's better than zero. Trust me on that. I've done the stats. One greater than zero. Let's use Psybeam. That might... I mean, Cadaver's a tank. I don't know how much of a tank he's going to be against him, though. Oh, it missed. Okay. So, that... You fucker. Okay. I can't say we didn't see it coming. That's that's all I have to say about it. It's like it kind of expected. Let's try Shadow Ball. See how much damage that does to him. Probably not much. I don't even know why we tried it then. Because I knew it was going to turn out to be a shitty move like that. At least in this instance. You know, it's great when we're going up against Psychic types. But that's about all it's good for. That's why Cadaver has it. Because Psychic isn't going to kill Psychic all that frequently. That's probably going to be the death of Kadabra. But luckily he shouldn't have any other items. Try Gyarados. Our shiny Gyarados. Um, let's try Dragon Rage. I feel like that's probably going to be his best move right now. Okay. Carried us through. Good job, Gyarados. 
We got a badge. We didn't lose. So there's that. We should get an ice move, too. Which would be nice. A gift from him. TM16. It probably contains Blizzard. If I was to guess. Icy Wind. It inflicts damage and lower speeds. It demonstrates the harshness of winter. Let's see who can learn it. Honestly. I, I don't think any of our team can learn Icy Wind. And the cars go by in the background, which I know you guys always love. Uh, Gyarados can learn it. That's cool, Gyarados. Gyarados can learn a cool move. Um, Thrash, I guess. It's probably a little bit more effective. I and mean, Gyarados already has like our, our TM moves shit now if we could just get out of this place okay we got that um i have no idea where to go next like absolutely none i would assume to the right once we leave here because we we haven't been that way yet so let's try that let's go off to the right like i said i, I think this episode's going to be a little bit less. Oh, this guy's still. What the fuck do you want, buddy? Rage candy bar sold out. I'm packing up. Don't bother me, sunny boy. So I can't go that way. So I have absolutely no idea what to do. Oh, I know what we could do. Um, there's a, a hidden place up here that has something, I think. I remember going to it in the past, so it must be something of use. You know? I'm not sure if it's an actual step necessary. But like I said, I do know something is up here. Let's switch our Pokemon. We'll switch into Falafi. On the training episode, we're going to handle a lot of the shit, so. Like a lot of the leveling up, getting everybody back to, to even here. Yeah, there's something over here. How the hell do we get to it? No idea. What happened to the Red Gyarados? It's gone. Oh darn, I came here for nothing. I know, let's battle. Okay, so we got a battle out of it. Cheers to that. You know what? Lois can have her number. If we beat Lois, she can have her number. She seems like a cool cat. She's using the leech seed. So not as cool of a cat as I initially thought. Ah, uh, son of a bitch. Okay. Uh, fuck that. Let's go cool lava. Mega drain. That won't be very effective against cool lava, I don't believe. But I think this type is like both water and grass. So I don't know how effective will be. Uh, quite effective. Turns out. Good, get it with the ember. There we go. Yes, for nine tails we will. We're not putting up with nine tails bullshit. I love nine tails as Pokemon, but I'm not doing it today. The red Gyarados, she gets to see it right here in the flesh. Just the one she was looking for. Let's take him out. 
solid. I don't know what that does. Icy Wind! Quick attack. That's fair. You'd probably expect you were gonna die. I would do the same thing. Jab Gyarados. Oh, she's gonna see my mom's calling. This is so embarrassing. She knows that my mom's calling right now. She's seen a pink butterfree? So she's seen shinies as well, is what she's saying. Now we need to find a way to get over to the other side. Over here. So we're gonna follow this path down. And hopefully there's some indicator. Looks like it's like right here. I was gonna there's a way to get over there and there's an item. Oh shit. Fuck, we don't have anything to catch it with, do we? Oh we do. Okay. Okay. Everybody settle down. We just have a god amongst us. Tackle. We don't want no crits. No crits. Such a cool Pokemon right here. Oh, that's good. I'm glad that my attack fell. Yes. We could get one more. One more in real quick. Perfect. Perfect. I don't know if we'll be able to catch it with nine Pokeballs, honestly. Dude, such a fucking cool Pokemon. Fingers crossed. Fuck. I mean, we'll, we'll throw all fucking nine at it. Noctowl is an insanely cool Pokemon. Damn. That was really close. That gives me a good feeling about this one. Come on, Pokeball number three. Usually you don't see three balls out there in the field, but today you do. Fuck, my joke. My joke must have made him laugh so hard he came right out of the Pokeball. Happens all the time. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, we got him. Sweet. We got a new Pokedex entry. Its eyes are especially, especially adapted. They concentrate even faint light and able to make it see in the dark. I I butchered that. I almost want to like restart our team now that we found so many fucking cool Pokemon. I'm in a slump. Maybe it's the gear I'm using. Let's battle for a change of pace. You got it, Tubby. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, he's actually a fisherman. His name's Marvin. Oh, so this will give our, our Pokemon a chance to wake up. Plus. Because he's not going to do shit. Yeah, I'm almost tempted to, like, change our whole entire fucking team. To be, like, just all Gen 2 Pokemon. Except for Kadabra. Because, like, fuck that. Um... <laughs> No. We can take on a Gyarados. Oh, that is an underranked Gyarados, dear friend. I know enough about stats that that's some serious bullshit right there. I don't mind taking the EXP, though. Yes. Let's see, who's our weakest? Pharaoh's our weakest right now. I'm sure he could take on a Magikarp. Because Magikarp might no tackle, but that's about it. That's a ground move. We don't want to use that. But Peck should be enough. Yeah, it's he's not going to get a lot of EXP, but I mean enough. No. Let's see. Let's see if Pharaoh can take out a Gyarados. That's a very underranked Gyarados. So that's good news. Yeah, Pharaoh got him. 
Good job, Pharaoh. Trying to learn Pursuit. Pharaoh can't learn more than four moves. Complete one to make room for Pursuit. Ah, fuck no. We don't want to learn that shit. Get that shit out of here. Get it out of here. Marvin. Fucking bum. <laughs> okay. So there is a whole bunch of, like, shit show stuff happening up here, I'm pretty sure. It's a pain in the ass. It's like a little maze up here. But we should, on the plus side, be able to get in and out. We'll have to battle that guy, likely. We could battle and come back down, if that's an option. I'm not sure, because all these paths go, like, to different places. And we'll have to walk through all of them. I think that's gonna be, you know, this episode, because we don't wanna... I, I don't know where to go right now. There we are. You know, if I knew where exactly we should go to progress the story, I would, but I have no idea. And being as, like, this is, like I said, one of the days where what we're trying to do is capture, like, story progression. That wouldn't be fun. TM43. Let's see what that does. Detect. So shit. It does shit. Still happy to find it. We could sell it. We can make some money. Okay, here we go. Hey, buddy. Take this child. TM10. What is in TM10? Hidden power. Uh, we're definitely gonna teach hidden power. Yes. So I think, yeah, everybody's able to learn it. We made an upsa daisy with Heracross. So, to repay for our Upsa Daisy, we're gonna get rid of Counter. Heracross doesn't have to deal with the shitty move. It can have Hidden Power. Which still isn't great. You know, not a terrific move. I definitely wouldn't say that. But, probably better than Counter. That being said, I don't know a lot about Counter. But it did not seem good based off of what I read, and it seemed like a mistake to teach it to our Pokemon. Uh, if a trainer spots another trainer, he has to make a challenge. That is our destiny. Jesus, man. That's all we're good for. That, honestly, cool trainer Aaron looks like the kind of guy that would believe that kind of shit. An Ivysaur. Shit, man. You ain't kidding. You got a cool Pokemon there. I know that's not going to do much, but I wanted to get- Oh, fuck. I wanted to get a move off. Um, let's see. Everybody else is 26. Quilava, get out there, you precious little flaming whatever you are. Razor Leaf. Oh, shit. Good move. I think Ember will be pretty effective. Yeah. And it burned him. That's what you get for poisoning me, asshole. Let's use Ember again. Knock him out of here. Get him out of here. Okay, we split it. Falafi grew to level 28. Good job. I don't think we have anything to heal him, though. War Turtle. Yes. Let's throw a Falafi in there. I bet you I could guess what his last Pokemon is. I'm just going off of a guess here, but I'm going to guess Charmeleon. Now, if I'm right, I think everyone should subscribe to the channel. Isn't that fair? Everybody subscribe if I'm right.
because I have no way of knowing that right now. If I'm wrong, drop in the comments, Average Joe, you're a dumbass. We'll see what happens, though. I think, I think we'll see my brilliance. Oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen, I am a god. <laughs> how did I know? How could I know? You and I both know how. And that's all you need to know. Is that deep down, you already know. And look at that. With our almighty power, strike him down in one blow. And level up our shiny Gyarados. All in one. Because we're brilliant. That's, that's all that there is to it. Woo, good battle. Thanks, buddy. We don't want that guy's number. Ah, oh, shit. The great race to make him back alive. First, hold on. Let, let's check if we have any poison healing items. Because we're not going to use them. We have a full heal. We're not gonna use it. This dire hit. Oh, it's not like something that they could just hold, though. Let's raise X accuracy. No. Let's give that to Heracross. Oh, we have protein here. Raises the attack. Who should we raise the attack of? I'm thinking Quilava. He's our starter. Um, I'm trying to see if we had anything that would like help. Doesn't look like we do. I think we have to go back and battle Team Rocket next. I think that that's the next move in the series. Um, but we will have a training day in between there. Because, you know, we need one at this point. Uh, we are doing fine, but not great. That's how I would define where we are right now. We're okay. We can make it through the game. That's what I'll say. Like, that's a definite. Could we do it, like, really successfully? Probably not. But we could at least make it through. Um, let's try and catch a Venom out. It's relatively okay Pokemon. I have nothing against Venom out. And it's low in health. We're probably not going to see one again for a while. Like, why not? Unless it is a stubborn asshole. Which seems to be the case right now. If we have four more Pokeballs... And a loud car going by. Look at that. The, the loud car, as much as we hate them, they're good luck. Let's look at our Pokedex real quick, too. How many Pokemon have we caught? We own 22. That's not bad. Um... You know, if you saw the Pokemon Yellow, it, it was a struggle to get some of the Pokemon that we needed at the end there, in order for us to get the, the EXP share. So, I feel like we we're moving in the right direction. Yeah, you know, doing a little bit better than we did in the previous game, but... You know, we're taking it one step at a time. Let's see what this guy has to say. I got chased from my post by these thugs in black. They left this behind. Makes me uncomfortable. Could you take it away? We got team 36. What does that contain? Probably something we'll sell. Because it's a team rocket TM, which means it's like, eh. Sludge bomb. Who can learn sludge bomb? No one. Not a single soul on our team. Let's let's take a good look at our team. Falafi, Haircross, Gulava. So these three are the only ones that are Gen 1. We could replace Pharaoh with Night Owl. 
or knocked out. I th we don't have a good water substitute. I We do have the shiny red Gyarados, so that should count. Because you couldn't have shinies in Gen 1, so I feel like that should be a viable option. And Kadabra, I'm... Unless we get one of the Eevee evolutions early, but I don't know how to do that. Otherwise, it would be awesome to have a full Gen 2 team. Um... But, yeah, let's just go and save. We're 45 minutes out. I promised that this episode would be a little bit lighter than the rest of them. So, let, let's let's make it a little bit shorter. I think we've only had one short episode in the series thus far. And like I said, I, I'm kind of confused on what to do next. I know that we have to go and beat Team Rocket, but we definitely need to rank up before we do that. But anyways, guys, you know, here's the usual pitch at the end. If you like the episode, please leave a like. Um, it would really help. Um, leave a comment down below, too, just so that we know. It's not just bots out there subscribing. You know, that would be helpful. Um, and if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. You know, um, I've been putting a lot of hours into these. And, you know, I went out and did the, the tier list for Gen 1, something that I typically wouldn't do. But, you know, it's... It is pretty popular on YouTube, so I decided, hey, why why not do it and give my my drunken opinions on all of those great Pokemon? Because that is my favorite generation of Pokemon being released. This one being a close second, but this game as a whole, I think, is a little bit better in my opinion. But we'll get to that in a far later episode. But with that all being said, like I said, if you like the video, please like. If you want to drop a comment, even if it's just to tell me I'm a dick, go ahead and drop it down there below. And, I mean, if you want to see us have an all-gen 2 team before we beat the game, feel free to drop that too. Uh, even if I get ahead of schedule, we can always go back and make a gen 2 team and, you know, get back on track with that. Just have a 10-hour grinding episode, <laughs> if that's really what you want to do. And like I said before, you know, every subscribe to this channel really helps us in creating content. It definitely helps motivate myself along with Nick to generate new videos and come up with new ideas, new let's plays, everything of that nature. So, you know, if you like the content, please at least consider it. It is free. But on that note, guys, we will see you on the next one where we will be, um, we'll have the grinding episode over the weekend and then we'll be coming back to it and we'll be focusing on, you know, I think Team Rocket is our next thing. So until next time, guys, like I said, hope you enjoyed and we'll see you on the next one.